Hello! Now I'm going to explain to you the sounds of the English language. There are the three categories of the English language. We have vowels, consonants, and diphthongs. So, English sounds are divided into three, as what I've said. We have vowels. Vowels are syllabic speech sounds pronounced without any stricture in the vocal tract, meaning there is no major obstruction in the vocal tract when you produce vowel sounds. For example, you produce a, ah, so there's no major obstruction, only minor obstruction in the vocal tract that will happen when you produce any vowel sound. Second are consonants. Consonants are characterized by an articulation with a closure or narrowing of the vocal tract such that a complete or partial blockage of the flow of air is produced. So, it's opposite of the vowel sounds. When you produce consonants, there is a major obstruction in the vocal tract. So, you more likely obstruct the exhalation of air. For example, you have the sound of B. B. So, you have a complete stoppage first before you blow air. B. For you to produce the sound of letter B. And third are diphthongs. Diphthongs are a type of vowel sound where two single vowel sounds, or we call it monophthongs, are combined within a single syllable. For example, you have the sound I, like in the word light. So the sound I has two monophthongs. You have A and E. So you combine them, it becomes I, I, and I is called a diphthong. So let's check these examples here. On the left side, let's check the vowel letters. So if you observe these four words contain letter O. But listen how I pronounce each word. Both, both, good, good, women, women, orange, orange. So when you say both, the sound of letter O is O. For good, the sound of letter O is U. For women, again, it's women. But if it's only one, you say woman. But if it's in plural form, you will not say it as woman, but you say it women. So the sound of letter O is E. And for the fourth word, you have orange. Orange. So the sound is O. So therefore... We have the same letter O here, but different sounds. Is it true to consonants? Well, see. We have here four different words. All of them have letter C. Let's start with the first word. Car. Car has the sound K. Scent has the sound S. Species has the sound SH. And cello has the sound T. Same letter C but different vowel consonant letters, different consonant sounds rather. So what can we say about it? The spelling of words is not the key to its pronunciation. That what, that's what make English sounds unique. Okay, don't blame yourself if you could not master all the sounds yet, because in our own language, even Filipino or Cebuano, kung ano yung baybay, siya rin yung bikas. How we spell it, it's how we say it. Let's say, for example, baka. It's always ba and ka. You could never say baka. Or let's say, asam and ka. You cannot do that. It's only asam and ka. Baka. Only a. So, kung ano yung spelling, it's also the pronunciation. But for the English language, it's not. That's why you need to expose yourself more with the language so that you can produce the correct pronunciation of each English word. Okay? And with that, we need a guide. We need what we call an international phonetic alphabet. So this is by Kenyon Anot. We're going to use Kenyon Anot's pronouncing dictionary of American English. So the symbols are actually used in on their dictionary. So for Google, there's also their version. For Miriam, there's also their version. But why we're going to use Kenyon Anot? Kenyon and Knott are the first people who produced the pronouncing dictionary of American English. Remember what I told you before, we're using American accent in the speech class. So that's why we need to refer also to a pronouncing dictionary of American English. So what are the characteristics of IPA? First, capital letters will not alter the sound symbol like in the word grace. If you observe here, 
Grace is a proper pronoun, a proper noun, sorry, proper noun, and it starts with a big letter G. And if you can see in the right side, you have here the IPA or the symbols of its pronunciation. You can see here a small letter G instead of using big letter G because this symbol, a small letter G, that's the sound symbol of G. So why the symbols are like this? So you have the word grace. So what are the sounds that you combine for you to produce that word grace? So you need G, R, A, and S. Grace, grace, G, R, A, S, grace. So that's it. Number two, silent letters will not be transcribed. Never transcribe silent letters. So my tip is you need to read a word and then transcribe it. Because if you're going to check the spelling, you might transcribe it the wrong way. Remember, the spelling is not the key to the pronunciation of English words. So you need to read them correctly for you to identify the correct sounds that you need to combine for you to produce the word. Example here, we have the word thought. If you see, thought has seven letters. But if you see the symbols, there are only three. Why? Because when you say thought, you only combine th, a, t, thought, thought. So you only need three sounds for you to read this. You cannot put letter G here because you cannot hear the sound of letter G when you read the word thought. Third, sound transcription must be enclosed with brackets. So if you observe, you have here brackets on the side. If you could not put brackets, it means that you are writing a word and not a transcription. In Google, for example, I'll just show you here. They're using forward slash. It's okay. You can use forward slash also to mark that this is an IPA. Okay, and it's not a word, literally. All right, let's get back. Okay, and number four is the word bless. So each sound is represented by a symbol. Example in the word bless, there are two letter S here in the spelling. But if you check the symbol, there only there's only one letter S. Why? Because when we say bless, you can only hear one sound. Bless. B L E S. Bless. Okay. If I put another S here, then it would sound like this. Bless. Bless. You cannot do that. It's only bless. There's only one sound. So even the spelling has two letter S, but the sound is only one, then just write one. Okay? Again, spelling is not the key to the pronunciation of the English words. Now let's go to vowel sounds. For vowel sounds, we have here 14 vowel sounds. Though there are 15, if you can see here, but these two here are just variations of each other. So we will count them as one. So we have 14 vowel sounds. And imagine, in the English language, we only have five vowel letters. And what are those? Yeah, it's A, E, I, O, and U. Among those five vowel letters, you need to master 14 vowel sounds. That makes it difficult for other people. And more likely, in our own language, like Cebuano, we only have A, E, and U, nothing more. Three, spell, uh, three letters with three corresponding sounds. But in English, five vowel letters with 14 vowel sounds. So here I'm going to produce each of the vowel sounds and you can follow after me. I'll start here with the first row. E, E, so it's a long E sound. Next is E, E, okay? Third one is E. A. Fourth, A, A, and the last one here, it's A, A. So you need to widen your mouth, you need to smile for you to say A. Next, you have the sound A. Ah. This is the most common one, we have it in our own language, A. Ah. Next is O, O. Next is A, uh. A. Uh. And next one is a schwa sound. This is the most relaxed sound of the English language. Um, it's also the unstressed vowel sound. So you call it schwa. The spelling is S-C-H-W-A, schwa. 
So the sound is just uh, uh, very relaxed. <laughs> okay, next is you have these two variations. You have er, it's like you are combination. This number three with the bangs here, you say er. And then this letter, inverted letter E with the bangs, you say er. Er, 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 er. Okay, next is a. Uh. Ah. Uh. Next is o. Oh, o. Oh. Next is a quick u. U. And the last one is a long u. U. So again, I'll say each of them. E. 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 A. A. you got it so more likely in your test upcoming test you will have this kind of question I will underline one letter from the word and you need to identify its sound for example in this word what do you think is the answer we'll see okay this word is pronounced as casual casual so the sound of letter A or the first letter A here is a a and yeah, the answer is letter A. A. Casual. Casual. Okay. So, we have more here. You can just check this PowerPoint presentation in the LMS. I put the link there. Okay. And for consonant sounds, these are very common co consonant sounds. I don't need to uh, reiterate or discuss them because there's no other sound when you say ba it's always ba there's no variation however here when we say this one this two remaining rows here they're not so common but more likely class in the first two rows there are some variation in the sense that they're aspirated or not aspirated sound but anyways we have a speech class this is a uh, this is the subject that we can you can only have an experience of what each sound is but if you're majoring in english then we need to dig deeper to the variation of these okay but for now it's just fine it's just ba pa f, v, and so on it's just the same but here you can see an elongated it's like a stretched letter s so this symbol has the sound sh. next a t with a stretch letter s so this sound is ch, ch. Next is a letter D with num like looks like a number three. It is a J sound. This represents um this sound is uh used in the word jar. The letter J in the word jar. This is the sound. And then the last one is a Z, a Z H combination, like in the word casual, casual. So you have the Z sound. And next we have here. You have seen this one already a while ago. In the word thought so this symbol has the sound th, or a th sound th, th, okay and next one is a dth combination it has the sound th, th, just like in the word the okay or then th, so dth combination and a letter n that has like a tail okay it looks like a tail it's actually ng, ng. Nga nga. <laughs> I hope not. Okay. So again, I'll say these sounds. Shh. Shh. Ch. Ch. J. J. Z. 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 Nga. Nga. Okay. And we also have what we call semi-vowel sounds. So they are not vowels. They're consonants, but they're considered semi-vowels. 
why you cannot produce them without combining them with a vowel sound right after for example the sound of w you cannot produce it unless you put a vowel sound ah wa wa so you can hear now the sound of w so they are like a starting point and then they're going to be blended with the next vowel sound so w is a wa hw more likely this is used for wh words like what so you need to blow a little bit of air and then you produce a w sound now here comes a small letter j ma'am a while ago you talked that this d like three combination is the sound j in the word jar but why there is a small letter j here so the small letter j is actually the sound symbol for y ya 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 okay and then we have here the h sound okay ha so these are the semi-vowel sound for the classification of consonant sounds we will just talk about that in our next class okay and for the diphthongs we only have here three you have i ow and oi i like in the word light ow in the word house and oi like in the word boy okay and that's it so for your activity here that i put in your lms you can check here the ipa transcription sheets just click this one once you click it what you will do is you're going to answer all the transcription columns here so you need to download this okay do not write anything here you download it after you download you can print and then you can write your answer take a photo and send it or you can also download this one then just encode and then just share the link in the LMS or let's say you don't have the luxury of a printer or what then you can download it copy in the bun paper copy the entire table all right you need to copy the table and then you write the answer so I will show you how I do this okay for example, you have E. Actually, you're guided already, so it's not hard for you to choose the right ones. So you have E, like in the word key. So you need to identify the sound combinations. Key, K, E, key. Then you write it this way. Let's say for the word kit. Kit, K, E, T, K, E, T. So it's K, E kit so that's the answer and you do the rest okay so that will be your activity you need to submit it on tuesday hopefully at 12 noon so yeah so any questions i hope you don't have any questions anymore and good luck see you again